Hi right, y'all, once again, it's your boy Killer Threat. It's your boy Cool Cow. And this is most definitely, yes, another episode of Welcome to the Loot Town Podcast. Um, just like always, we appreciate the love, we appreciate the comments and the feedback. For sure, for sure. Already. And today's episode, I think, is uh, important for us to tackle as a duo for the community today. The importance of making time for important things. So, let's go ahead and discuss, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so we'll start this off like this. Um, what's important to me, KT, Mr. Killer Threat, also known as KT Lutown, as the producer? Um, I think it's almost self explanatory that music is of a far most importance to me. I like to uh, make music, I like to mix music, I like to write music. Um, I like to sell music. Um, I like to perform music. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, a lot of things that are important besides music related things would be like uh, spending time with my family, like my kids, my wife, uh, spending time outside my immediate family, like with my brothers and my sisters, you know, my cousins, um, and things of that nature. My father, because, you know, just like I said on the last episode i do a lot of things for my father and uh just just to keep up with what's going on with him anyway the older we get the older they get so absolutely um uh, but yeah cat what's important to you cuz um we have similar things of importance uh definitely writing creating music is important to me um for sure my daughter mm-hmm. baby Callie, she definitely important um takes up a lot of my time um because she's spoiled oh Um, (laughs) yeah something else that's important um yeah just making time for family friends um you know maintaining that balance between you know working grinding and you know having downtime to yourself to have your own thoughts um something i picked back up is reading that I had gotten away from because I used to be so busy. So um, I forgot how important that was to me. And it, that's another thing that's important to me again. So, um, yeah. Hey, man, shoot. I, yeah, I need to go ahead and uh, tackle a couple of books myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To keep that vocab up, to keep the brain, you know what I'm saying? On the top of its mental game because I don't like to play Sudoku. You know what I'm saying? So reading will most definitely be my next bet. uh, Or my best bet. So, but yeah, man. uh, How I go ahead and try to balance out doing things. Like, because I be having so much to do. As You made a great point. Getting to that bag is most definitely an important thing. For everybody out there, make sure you get into the bag. Because if you ain't getting to the bag. Get into it. Just get to it. For real. That ain't important to you. Then you... You're setting yourself up to be a bum. But you know. Yeah, as long as you ain't being no snake. Yeah. Or, or doing nothing dirty to nobody. However you get to it. I ain't knocking you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You know what I'm saying. Straight up. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and try to do uh, a lot of time management. Because there's only so much that I can do in 24 hours. Um, I know in my life, I don't get that much sleep. And I perp I purposely do that. People say that's bad though. Mm, you know what I'm saying? I know people be like, KT, you need to go ahead and get your rest in, but it just be so much for me to do. You know what I'm saying? With with the music, with the family, uh, I all gotta get my four kids, uh, they own specific times to have one on one with their father. I gotta give my wife time. Um, it's artists within my circle and even outside my circle that I have responsibilities to make sure they can become the best that they can be within my power, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I also try to do things outside for my family, like to see my aunties, see my uncles, see my father, you know what I'm saying? Spend time with the homies outside the circle. Talk to the youth if I can when I come across the youth, you know what I'm saying? All these things are very time consuming. So besides, you know, going to the nine to five as well and making time for that. So when you add that additionally and you're trying to do everything that's extracurricular outside of family and music, it it, it pulls a strain on you. You know what I'm saying? It wears you thin from time to time. 
Now I know rest is a big thing. So, uh, Kyle, how do you balance? You know what I'm saying, stuff. Um, it got to a point where I just started writing things out mm-hmm. in my phone. Um, sleep was something that, that was definitely harped on for me to start getting more of. So I'm somebody who forever has been getting, you know, three, four hours of sleep. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Um, now I make it to where I get about five or six hours. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know it ain't the full eight that my family wants me to get, but hey, <laughs> progress is a process. So, yeah, I, I do try to make sure I get those five or six hours. I can say it's, it's helpful. Um, and sometimes you just got to prioritize, you know, what's the most important thing that's happened today. Right. And then you just trickle it down. Um, that's pretty much what I do. Okay. You know, um, sometimes you got to plan. Like, okay, I can get this done on Tuesday. I can get this done on Thursday. So that's another um, way to do things. Like, um, now I have a, a basketball team I'll be coaching. So, that's going to make my schedule a little bit more different. Thanks. We have practices, we're going to have games. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have other activities for the kids outside of that. So, it'll be some more planning and prioritizing for me during this process. But I'm excited about it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, most definitely when you implement new things at I can agree that it is best to prioritize what's the most important. But make sure you try to tackle everything throughout the week. But, yeah, you can go ahead and take the important things and piece it out piece by piece, day by day. Just And that's a, I guess that's a great way of uh, looking at things, too, because at least every day you'll be productive. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, where you'll be in a better place than you was the day prior. Right. So... Yeah, I, 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 I feel still that. take my grandma to the bank every Thursday, so I gotta prioritize, mm-hmm. you know, a certain time because, like, if she say here to live, and she outside the door looking for you, like, hey, where you at? And she called me, like, hey, where you at? So I gotta make sure I'm there at 11. Right. She on my line, blowing me down. So, um, yeah, just gotta really prioritize and strategize, and um, it'll make your day a lot easier. Yes, sir. Make your day, your week, and your life a lot easier. As opposed to just winging it, just waking up like, uh... Right. That ain't gonna, you ain't gonna really get nothing accomplished. Nah, not at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, as long as I know, I know, when we, know when we were in school, you always want to go ahead and write down your short-term goals and your long-term goals. And then if you go ahead and uh, place the important things like I've done in my life, you'll go ahead and place the important things around those short-term and long-term goals and do what Callie just stated. You practice on doing time management with just being like attacking one short-term goal to meet a long-term goal every day. I'm glad you mentioned school. Um, I can use myself for an example in school. Mm -hmm. Um, I have not carried a book bag since the sixth grade. Sheesh. Um... I have not done homework since maybe the seventh grade, okay. maybe. And you say, well, dang, you graduated though. I did. I used my time in school to do school work because I knew once that bell rang, I'm trying to do everything else but some school work, but studying. Um, I am blessed with a talent that I don't have to study for tests and I can still pass them. So that helped me too. Yeah. But yeah, I use my school time for doing school work. So every period, you know, I made sure I got my assignments done because I knew once I'm outside, I'm outside. We hooping, we around the neighborhood doing whatever we doing. Mm-hmm. I'm outside. Ain't no okay. school work getting done. But I knew myself, so I prioritized in school. Oh uh, yeah, you a special individual because I already know when I was in school, even though I was getting my school work done, when we had that uh time. Where you just go to a class and you spend that whole class period just doing homework. I was in that class period just doing homework. I forgot the name of the class, but homeroom. I, it, it, homeroom was like uh, in the beginning of uh, school at my high school. So you'll go in, you'll check in just to give attendance, and then uh, if you didn't know where you were supposed to be during the beginning of the year, they'll go ahead and send you on your way to the correct class but we had something like if you didn't have any classes or like me i was caught up on all my credits pretty much by the time the end of my junior year came so i was leaving early my senior year like at 10 30 in the morning yeah me too so I, um, 
Shoot, I use home room to do my homework. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that, that's Copying off people. I'm doing whatever I had to do to get it done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had that memory where if I just cop, see it and copy it, I'm going to know the answer for the test. Right. And, and that's how I got through school. Especially if it's the correct answer, you know what I'm saying? You always want to keep that in mind. I always had the people with the correct answers. <laughs> Already. <laughs> but yeah, um, just to let y'all know, uh, I believe if we can go ahead and discuss solutions real quick, because we already know the importance of time management. If you don't know the importance of time management, I feel like it's self-explanatory. You are as smart as you want to be. You do what you want to do, how you feel like you want to do things, because we all grown in nature. Um, we all know what we need to do. So when we know we need to do something, it's best for you to execute on everything every day. No, not saying like every goal every day. But the goal you have set, go ahead and execute to your fullest potential. Don't shortchange yourself. Just leave it all out there. Like if it's basketball, leave it all out, out there on the court. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you won't feel any type of way or feel like you have any doubts or regret regarding on how you went about attacking these goals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the solution most definitely is execution. Because procrastination is like self-sabotage. Yeah. Now, who would like to self-sabotage themselves? You know what I'm saying? And just being honest with myself, I'm someone who at times can struggle with procrastination. And it is self-sabotage because once you get out of that mode of procrastination, you're just playing catch up. And that makes your day longer, it makes your day harder. Yes, sir. Yeah, but yeah. hey, what? You want to say something? No, nope, that, that's all I have. That's all you have? Shoot. All right, well, hey, y'all. Once again, this is most definitely another episode of Welcome to the Lou Town Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, if you want to follow me, I am Killer Threat. You can follow me at Instagram and on Facebook at Killer Threat. And Cal? Instagram, Facebook, cool Cal UMG. Twitter though. Underscore cool cow UMG21. Know that, remember that, and like as always, got the merch. Cool Killers is the album. Cool Stream Killers is the that. group. Share that. All of that. Yes, sir. You can find it everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, iTunes, Apple Music, Title, Amazon, Spotify. This goes on. Peloton. You never know. You might find Whatever the album. you into, we there. Right. You might find it being attached to a pelican. Who knows? You dig what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, once again, the pleasure is all ours. It's me and Cool Cam. Y'all know what time it is. See y'all later. All up.